Have you ever felt like you're your own worst enemy? Like an invisible force is holding you back from achieving your goals and living a fulfilling life? In The Mountain Is You, Transforming Self-Sabotage into Self-Mastery, author Brianna Weist, a recognized voice in personal development, tackles this very struggle. Weist delves into the concept of self-sabotage, those sneaky behaviors and limiting beliefs that prevent us from reaching our full potential. Through the powerful metaphor of the mountain, representing the challenges we create for ourselves, she offers a roadmap to overcome these obstacles and achieve self-mastery. Chapter 1 of The Mountain Is You dives deep into the pesky concept of self-sabotage. Here, Weiss defines these self-inflicted roadblocks as actions or inactions that hinder our progress towards goals and ultimately happiness. Weist explores the common culprits behind self-sabotage, highlighting how fear of failure can paralyze us, preventing attempts altogether. Similarly, limiting beliefs, those negative ideas we hold about ourselves and our capabilities, can act as self-fulfilling prophecies. We might shy away from opportunities or subconsciously undermine our efforts because we believe we're not good enough. The chapter further explores how self-sabotage can manifest in various aspects of life. We might procrastinate on important work deadlines, pick fights in relationships, or overindulge in unhealthy habits, all acting as unconscious ways to avoid facing deeper fears or emotions. By recognizing these patterns, Weist argues, we can begin to dismantle the mountain we've built for ourselves. Chapter 2 takes a surprising turn, challenging the traditional view of self-sabotage as a purely negative force. Weist proposes a different perspective. What we perceive as self-sabotage might actually be a hidden message from our subconscious. Instead of a villain, self-sabotage becomes a signal, an indicator of deeper issues lurking beneath the surface. Procrastination, for instance, could point to a fear of failure or a lack of clarity in our goals. This chapter introduces the concept of shadow selves. These are repressed aspects of our personality, often containing negative emotions or hidden desires that we've pushed down. When ignored, these shadow selves can manifest as self-sabotaging behaviors. By acknowledging and integrating these shadow aspects, Weiss suggests, we can unlock a more authentic and empowered version of ourselves. Chapter 3 shifts the focus to emotional triggers, those events or situations that send us into a tailspin. But instead of viewing them as setbacks, Weist reframes triggers as opportunities for growth and self-awareness. The chapter delves into strategies for identifying our triggers. This might involve paying attention to recurring patterns in our emotional responses. Does a critical comment from a colleague always leave you feeling frustrated? Or perhaps a partner's distant behavior triggers feelings of insecurity. By recognizing these triggers, we can begin to understand what's beneath them. Weist emphasizes the importance of moving beyond simply identifying triggers. The chapter explores methods for responding to them with compassion and mindfulness instead of reacting impulsively. This might involve taking a deep breath, acknowledging the emotion without judgment, and choosing a more constructive response. By learning to navigate these triggers effectively, Weist argues, we unlock the door to greater self-mastery and emotional freedom. Chapter 4 tackles the crucial concept of emotional intelligence, EQ, and its role in overcoming self-sabotage. Weist defines EQ as our ability to understand, manage, and express our emotions in healthy ways. She argues that a strong EQ is vital for self-mastery because it equips us to navigate the internal world of emotions that often fuel self-sabotaging behaviors. The chapter dives deeper into the key components of EQ. Self-awareness Recognizing our emotions as they arise and understanding the thoughts and situations that trigger them. 
Self-regulation. Managing our emotional responses in a way that aligns with our goals and values instead of letting them control us. Empathy. The ability to understand and share the feelings of others, fostering healthier relationships, and reducing emotional reactivity. Weist emphasizes that developing EQ is a journey, not a destination. The chapter offers practical tips for cultivating emotional intelligence, including mindfulness practices like meditation and journaling. By regularly checking in with ourselves and reflecting on our emotional responses, we can gain valuable insights and build the skills to manage our emotions effectively. This, in turn, empowers us to overcome self-sabotage and navigate life's challenges with greater clarity and purpose. Chapter 5 delves into the potent connection between past experiences and self-sabotage. Weist explores how past hurts, particularly traumatic experiences, can leave behind emotional baggage that fuels self-defeating behaviors in the present. The chapter emphasizes the importance of acknowledging and processing these past hurts. By avoiding or suppressing our emotional wounds, we allow them to continue to exert a powerful, often unconscious, influence on our actions. Weist highlights the significance of bringing these experiences to light, understanding their impact, and ultimately releasing their hold on us. Following Weist's approach, the chapter briefly touches on methods for releasing this emotional baggage. This might involve seeking professional help through therapy, which can provide a safe space to explore past experiences and develop healthy coping mechanisms. Additionally, practices like journaling can offer a powerful tool for self-reflection and emotional processing. By acknowledging and releasing the burdens of the past, Weist argues, we pave the way for a more empowered and self-directed future. Chapter 6 marks a turning point in The Mountain Is You. Having explored the roots of self-sabotage and the power of emotional intelligence, Weiss now shifts the focus to building a more fulfilling future. A core concept introduced here is acting as your highest potential future self. This involves envisioning the person you want to become, your most empowered and authentic self. By keeping this future self in mind, Weist argues, we can make choices in the present that align with our long-term goals and values. The chapter delves into strategies for setting effective goals. Weist emphasizes the importance of aligning these goals with our core values, ensuring they resonate deeply with who we are and what we truly desire. By setting smart goals, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound, we create a clear roadmap for achieving our aspirations. Building a new future also requires resilience. The chapter highlights the significance of self-care practices that nourish our physical and mental well-being. By taking care of ourselves, we build the inner strength and resources needed to navigate challenges and setbacks that inevitably arise on the path to self-mastery. With a clear vision of our future selves, well-defined goals, and a commitment to self-care, Weist argues, we can begin to dismantle the mountain and build a life that reflects our true potential. Chapter 7 serves as a powerful culmination of The Mountain Is You. Weist offers a concise recap of the key takeaways from the book, reminding readers of the journey they've embarked on. Here, she emphasizes the crucial steps explored throughout the book. Understanding the roots of self-sabotage in our fears, limiting beliefs, and emotional triggers. Cultivating emotional intelligence to manage our emotions effectively. Releasing the burdens of the past that may be fueling self-sabotage. Envisioning and working towards becoming our highest potential selves. The chapter then reiterates the central message of the book, The Mountain Truly Is You. The challenges we face, both internal and external, are ultimately a reflection of our internal landscape. However, by mastering ourselves, through self-awareness, 
emotional intelligence, and a commitment to growth, we can overcome any obstacle and reach the summit of our potential.